Hey guys, it's Gabby and welcome back. Seven days to die. It is about morning time. Day seven. Episode one of day seven. I'm pretty sure this will be two or three episodes worth of absolute destruction and carnage. And we're going to get started on it as quickly as possible. Because we don't really have much options. Uh, I'm going to run inside real quick and see if I've got some pipes that I can use to repair my pickaxe. Uh, actually, we might not even need that, but let's, let's do it anyways. That out of the way. I love the lighting in this game. It They do a really good job of making this game look, feel, and seem very creepy. And just the dawn lighting and how it comes through, it's it's really good. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. It's really darn good. Um, we're going to turn all this into forged iron, then. We'll craft up a couple metal pipes and use them that way. We've got a lot of scrap metal. We don't have a lot of wood, though, and that's the thing we need to go get. Don't run into those. That's a bad idea. Because we need to use the old hammer. Now, sooner or later during the day, bad stuff's going to start happening. Might as well turn the sound up for myself a little bit. It, it won't affect you guys, but I want to be able to hear when the horde shows up. Because it'll happen. It'll happen, trust me. And then there will be lots of shooting, lots of action, uh, hopefully a little bit of building and recouping. But mostly shooting in action. Now there are a couple things we want to try to do when we see the horde show up. We want to try and see if they have any uh, spider zombies up at the front. If we can take them out before they start screaming, they won't call in more reinforcements. Uh, if we let them do their scream, they can summon in an additional, like, normal horde, I think. Basically, if three of them in a group scream. Uh, and they're, they're a specific zombie, it's just that they appear in groups of three. Uh, I don't think anything has respawned in here now. Yet. Ooh, I like that jump. I, I leap very far. Oh, that one's the locked one. Can't go through there. Uh, Alright, let's see where we are on the map. I want to go... I actually might just head out in a direction, so let's see. Which way is this? That's home. So we're going to go this way. And just search for a little bit. Because if, if we can take on the um, the small horde... The morning horde away from town. Uh, that might not be such a bad idea. Now I believe every seven days there's a difficult horde, and on every fourteenth day they have the really really bad horde where you'll see like flies and stuff in the sky and stuff. That one's crazy. So hopefully today will be survivable. So no guarantee of that. That was a lot for just two wood. I hope there was more there than just two. I guess our pickaxe is starting to run dry. Let's uh, get these crafted up so we can start repairing some stuff. Because your uh, your tools do get blunt as they uh, reduce in quality. I assume that the same applies to things like your gun. Now, we want to see if we can find some clay. 
I don't have a shovel with me. But we should be okay to just axe out a piece of shovel, uh, or no, a piece of shovel, a piece of clay from the ground so we can make a iron furnace or, or an iron, whatchamacallit, maybe a bullet mold. Really shouldn't be wasting my ammo, but yeah, it's fun. It's fun, it's fun. Really. Until we get overrun by zombies and killed. Then it's not fun anymore. Alright, let's slide down here. I've uh, learned that if you hold on to the edge a little bit, you can slide down without hurting yourself too much. There's a nice little lake here. Very randomly shaped. Um, oh, is this... What kind of biome is over here? Is it Derelict City over there? The uh, knife's still pretty good. Let's get this in here and this in here and repair. Oh. Repair time. Let's just get away from these guys for a moment. Oh no, maybe it's a bur burnt biome? I wouldn't know. I can't tell. Alright, so missing is not going to help our case, so we should stop doing that right now. Moldy bread. Green alcohol. Now, technically speaking, if we stay on the move... Oh, I missed. Technically speaking, if we stay on the move, we should be okay for the most part. Uh, actually, we're going to take out half of those. Because we're going to need the weapon repair kits for later. And we're going to need to craft up weapon repair kits, because I do not believe I brought any with me. We want to not have our weapons break mid-combat. I mean, we will... Oh, wow, this is a weird biome. It looks like it's a burnt biome or a derelict biome or something, but it's hard to tell, really. Oh, is that a city up there? Will we be able to finally get a city? Nope, whoa! Get the shotgun out. Stop reloading. Oh, those dogs are difficult. It looks like these guys don't want us in their town. I'm not gonna lie. These guys look like they're very unhappy that I came into their city. Dogs OP. Dog OP. Alright. Well, yeah, this is definitely a derelict city. We've got bees and stuff. But there's no real buildings here, unfortunately. You. Hey. Jar of honey. Neat. You stay back, cheerleader. That we do need. Go a little bit of distance here and get my gun reloaded. The rifle is a little bit of a liability at this point. The rifle is really good for taking out individual enemies and stuff, but... Like, when it's when you're up against very fast-moving targets like those dogs, you know, the dogs are... they're short, they're quick, they have a lot of evasive abilities, they can be a pain in the butt to deal with. Wow, there's not a lot left in these towns, though. 
Ooh, I see stuff over there. Wonder if we'll be able to find anything good in here. I don't know. If we can find like an apartment building, those have uh, stuff at the top of them. Let's go have a look at the map. Yeah, this is a decently sized town, though. Oh. I wonder if there's anything on, on the outside of that. We need to break it. We need to break it. Sorry. This may very well be a waste of time, but... Well, I should probably heal, too. Hold on. Let's take care of that. There we go. Oh, there's a gun safe. Maybe we'll get some good gun parts and maybe get a magnum or something. Magnum would be nice. Now we're going to need to get the shotgun out in order to get down here, because I'm pretty sure there's some zombies that have crawled in while we've been up here. Uh, I wonder when the when the morning horde actually shows up. I haven't seen him. So, I haven't seen anything of it so far. I'll get the flawless pistol stuff. Good shotgun. All right, we did dodge him. That's good. Go up the freaking ladder. Ladders in video games, seriously. Ladders never work in video games. It's like a guaranteed thing. Uh, let's take both of those. Those are both good. There's nothing on the corpse, surprisingly enough. Um, there we go. Let's climb down here again. Put the wall safe over here to t check out. We do have a pistol back at home. I found out that you can apparently switch out individual parts as long as you know how to craft specific weapons. So like this, I can take my hunting rifle and put it in here. Uh, my hunting rifle, not my barrel. Right, like this. And you can see the individual parts inside. Do these guys ever have anything on them? I don't think so. Is there anything in here? I think we're just gonna go down from this place because it's it's getting dangerous up in here. I like that the shotgun reloads with one pellet. It is hard to not get hit by by dogs. <laughs> they come in way too fast. All right, is there anything in here I can get rid of? Put the brain alcohol. Saw so you coming up the stairs, lady. Right, let's get outside. All right, there is quite a few zombies here. See if we can group them up a little bit. Come on, everybody. Everybody, come on. Come on down to the gas station. For no specific reason whatsoever. Come on. 
Come on, everybody. Everybody to the gas station. It's totally safe in here. Here we go. Uh, I wish I had my pistol. The, the ability to waste less ammunition doing this would be great. Or at the very least to waste less useful ammunition. I've heard talk that these towns aren't worth it anymore, that they, they've uh, tuned them down a lot, but uh, I don't see that, actually. This seems to be pretty much the same. It's just a ridiculously powerful town. Heard a cop. We want to stay away from him. I wonder if maybe we'll find one of those nice apartment buildings or something that have... Uh, you know, gun safes in them. Right now we're just running around, checking the place out, seeing what we can find. Just really quickly check the map. Oh, we're, we're sticking close to the, the outline, which is good. That's what I wanted to do. Keep an eye on our nurses. We don't want to waste too much ammo, so I think we'll just avoid zombies wherever we can. Like, if there's a, an opportunity for me to skip them and not fight them, I'll just avoid them as much as possible. But we will shotgun our way out of buildings if we have to. I'm not scared to shoot them. I just don't want to waste all my ammo. Two different things. Uh, you're unlikely to carry ammo. Uh, back in ye olde, the, the chubby guys, they uh, used to carry ammo on them, so you had a very good chance of getting... Uh, ammo if you came across one, which was great. It made them a more abundant source of ammunition. Right, let's get our stamina up. Stamina up. Ugh, come on. Darn dogs, they're so fast. Like, ridiculously fast, too. Alright, uh, do I have anything that will heal me other than first aid? Don't have my pills on me. Alright, let's try breaking in here. Get our shotgun out. Get ourselves an additional beer. Right, let's get our axe switched over. Has some spikes down there. I wish we could pick up the spikes. Uh, blueberries are good. Oh, a blueberry. Yummy, delicious blueberry. Alright, now what did we have on that bar? I believe it was shotgun shells. Let's get out the back here. Ooh, nice. Cooking pot and a thingamajig. And let's see, what can we do with this? Do you have anything on us to cook? We don't. Uh, can I get rid of these maple seeds, maybe? Don't really need them. And we'll craft this down, because we don't need it back at home. Alright, let's say, make sure we're staying on the same general course. Ooh, we can see under the map. Ah! Where did you come from? Don't like the zombies spawn next to you. That's a little bit ridiculous. Like, there's no way that person was there. I just walked in that specific spot that she came from. 
Come on, let me get sound turned up. So I can actually hear these guys. Because I, I usually have my sound turned down way low so I can hear myself. So I, I don't, you know, talk ridiculously loud. Because if I have the sound turned up, I tend to talk louder. Because I'm talking over the sound of the uh, game. But right now, I think I need the sound up because these zombies are sneaking up on me. They're getting, they're getting smart. And we don't have a lot of health to work with. And uh, we might just top ourselves off now, use what we have. Is this a pharmacy or something? No, it's a working stiffs. Alright. Alright. We missed due to frame lag. That's good to know. Alright, we need to not get caught up on stuff. Alright, we need to get this nurse as well. Alright. Good to know, they have better range than I do. Even though I have a knife, and my arm is longer than theirs. All right. All right, we're in. We're in, everybody. We're in it to win it. Shovel. Uh, mine's better, actually, interestingly enough. Hoping maybe we'd get, like, a really good quality one. Small engine. That we will take. Not quite sure how you got in, friend. Pretty sure I looked in that direction. These zombies are either really fast on day 7, or they are somehow spawning inside. Because there's no way they should be getting close to me this quickly. Just craft it down. Uh, we might want to get out of this town pretty quick. We can always come back here later. I guess this must be the seventh day horde showing up right at our doorstep right now. Let's see if I can maybe get to the cop. Nope, I don't I doubt we're gonna be able to get to the cop. Okay, that was a good pistol, but we don't really need any of it. Oh, nice. Flawless pistol. That we do want for later. Let's get back here and get that equipped onto our hotbar. So we might just be able to you know, make use of it. Uh, 
Alright, good. They're trapped outside now. Let's use that moment of solace to break ourselves into the back room. Killers, good. Keep our eyes on all directions. Get the axe out. Uh, we have a hammer, and our hammer is good. Keep ourselves armed. Taking down that Chubzo back there. That one went through his head. That's not good. Alright, we got Zombag dogs coming in from behind. Also not good. ourselves firing. Maybe we'll be able to get that police officer over here. Get the shotgun out! Get the shotgun out! Stop reloading the gun! Alright, good. We're still alive. Sort of. Alright. Popping pills here. Alright, this is definitely not where I wanted to be right now. Stop jumping. Also, how am I bleeding? He didn't hit me. We're on bandages. Alright, we need to get out of here real quick. Wrong button. Alright, give me that. Right. Let's get out of here. That was a lot of zombies all at once. Alright. No dog. Alright, we need to get back to where we had our base. We're getting out of here. That was a little too much for us. But we were away from the house long enough, so... Now, for whatever reason, I ended up picking up these sham sandwiches, because I didn't have time to look at what was on, uh, on my screen. Alright, let's head out of here. Let's go real quick. Oh boy. That was tough. Uh, I might actually close off the episode here in a minute, but I'm probably going to have to keep recording, so uh, if this goes into one episode, that's why. So I'm pretty sure I will see you guys next time, where we will probably deal with the rest of this horde. Ooh. Let's get out of here. That was not good at all. <laughs> all right, let's check real quick and make sure we're heading in the right direction. We are. We're heading in the right direction. We can cut cross country now. All right, have some more beer. We didn't bring any food with us because I didn't intend to be out this long.
Now, beer should not be used as a source of water. It should only be used for running. Because if you drink more of it, you'll get drunk, I believe. And if you get drunk, then you're not going to be very effective at fighting the zombies. We need to get our health back up. Wow, that was really costly. That uh, working stiff station didn't yield us anything, and we just took a boatload of damage trying to get out of it. I was hoping we would just sidestep the uh, the horde, like head out when it's when it's on its way, and just avoid it completely. This guy might yield us some ammo. I uh, yield us, yielded us exactly what we spent killing him. Which is not great. One to one ratios are not ideal. Now what we might do, actually, as soon as I get the chance to, I'm going to pause the episode and I'm going to run back to my house. Because we might as well, now that we've avoided the first horde, start getting the rest of our stuff together. This will get us quite a bit of wood to work with. Alright, I'm gonna just run over here and crouch for a moment. There aren't any zombies close to me, so I should be good. But I'll close off the episode here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye